Hi everyone, this is Brenda here. So as mentioned in my previous episode, I did say that I was going to branch out to Defenseless for the win 3. So I moved on from Defenseless from, for the win 2 to Defenseless for the win 3. So I'll be moving here and then moving to Defenseless for the win 2 and maybe even going back to the main clan to war with them. So uh, might be even branching out to Defenseless for the win 4 because uh, we are kind of uh, quite crowded over here. So going ahead to take a look at the first war. So as you can see the score is at 30-15 as uh, it was a 10 versus 10 war and eventually we did a perfect score on our opponent as uh, the opponent uh, couldn't uh, 3 star all of our bases and even on my base I uh, couldn't get a 1 star so going ahead to take a look uh, their bases all have been 3 star and also looking at the war stats just to give you guys a quick review of it uh, we managed to do an average destruction of 100% as uh, a lot of us uh, did our attacks all uh, really quickly so as you can see it's all basically all 3 stars attack other than uh, probably that one done by exit button 2 which was a 2 stars attack but not to worry we still managed to get the perfect score so now going ahead with the second wall so as you can see now the score is at 97 with uh, my base being 1 star so we go ahead and take a look at this replay first as this wall was quite interesting but uh, the score was uh, not too interesting not too exciting so this guy, uh, he used uh, some barbarians and archers to attack me with some level 1 balloons, 9 level 1 balloons to be exact and then eventually the the barbarians just plummeted through the base and my clan castle troops came out with some uh, really high level archers and then eventually the balloons got taken out really quickly by my level 18 archer queen just taking one shot on each of them and they got, went down really quick and then eventually now as you can see the archer they actually uh, took out some of his archers now left with like only two archers over there shooting on that gold mine two or three archers i can't really tell but not to worry uh, it's definitely not going to be a three star on me so yeah so this kind of a uh, base and this kind of attack i mean usually occurs on our bases as our bases uh, we only have one level one cannon for defense and also our clan castle and also technically our king and queen so uh, some of us uh, do have traps but we do not have any other defenses if you guys uh, want to join of course you only can have one level one cannon if you have a level two cannon we will reject you even if having one level one archer tower also that's a no-no so going ahead to take a look at the first attack done by steve doing on the number one uh, player using some barbarians and archers and also some uh, lightning spell to take out the mota first which was a very smart move so uh, some of you who actually want to use some barbarians and archers in this war it's possible to do so but i mean steve he is the number one um, uh, player in our team so of course he using barbarians and archers level 5 barbarian and archers to be exact uh, ain't really a problem for him but if you guys uh, have like level 2 or level uh, 3 barbarians and archers i don't suggest uh, doing this because it'll be just way too risky to do this especially against a, a kind of a high and strong player so going ahead to take a look at the second attack done by leader leader he's the number 16 in the clan but he's attacking in the second player so uh, doing it properly first uh, checking whether the clan castle have any troops there weren't any fortunately for him so dropping some giants to tank a bit of the damage deploying some uh, wizards at the back and then after just puppeting through the base with some uh, quite high level uh, archers in his clan castle not even bothering to bring any balloons with him or hawks with him usually uh, what i recommend for my clan mates is to bring some uh, hawk riders or in fact some uh, balloons with them so that uh, the, the balloons or the hawk riders will take out the defenses first and then eventually with the remaining uh, troops they will be able to take out the whole entire base so he did it really well leader you did a good job so going ahead with the third attack done by uh, Vanix on the num number three so this base as you can see the walls in uh, really uh, uh, protecting the whole entire defenses but yeah deploying the balloons first to take out the ground attacking uh, defenses first which is a really smart move no air defense on this base and then eventually just a uh, taking out the whole base with the remaining archers and also the balloons so that was a really nice attack so going ahead with the next one number four done by leader again so as you can see this base is a slightly better design than the previous one that you just saw so deploying the barbarians and archers of course with the giants in front uh, tanking some of the damage first and then eventually the wizards also following up behind so now the mota is doing a lot of damage dropping a lightning spell and a heal spell to heal up some of his troops because the mortar and the wizards would do a lot of damage to his troops and then the troops didn't go inside the circle of the healing spell but then uh, the wizard tower went down really quickly a, a bomb there and almost took out the archers but then the archers were still high in uh, level to actually uh, survive that uh, bomb 
So going ahead to just take out the rest of the base, just left with one more defense uh, cannon over there to try to fend off some wizards and some uh, archers, but that's to be no use. So now going ahead with the next attack on the number 5. So we'll see who attacked him. Oh, then, then I'm pretty sure he's a Singaporean or so because he has the same time zone as me. So most of us uh, in the clan, we do chat a bit, we do uh, discuss a bit as to who to attack who, this and that. So we do uh, have a little chat, we do have a little discussion, this and that. Especially I'm trying to uh, look for people who have a uh, potential to be like a, an elder or leader. Then of course I'll get you guys to be uh, the ones leading the clan because I do not want to lead the clan too much as I have uh, other accounts to tend to and, and uh, play. So working on this uh, clan is uh, just a small little part of my clash life. Not gonna focus too much time on it, uh, especially when I'm able to delegate uh, the leadership to each uh, people who are trustable, especially uh, those people who are quite new, but uh, I see that the way they play, the way they talk, the way they actually interact with people, they are pretty okay. I will definitely give you guys the co-leadership. So if the guy, if the clan actually gets screwed up by the uh, co-leaders, uh, then I can't really do anything about it. Just, just uh, based on trust that I have on uh, you guys. So going ahead to take a look at one of my attack, uh, done on the number eight. So going ahead with some barbarians and archers, and of course in my clan castle we have something special. So in my clan castle we have balloons. So balloons coming out now to take out the whole entire base, which is gonna be really fun. The balloons level six. I just gonna fly through the base taking out the town hall now didn't really do too much damage onto the, the whole entire base as in defenses wise but then the balloons of course they do help out a lot especially uh, taking out the defenses first the cannon on the right side so that was really awesome so that's it for this uh, particular war that I can update you guys then there ain't really much that I like to show you guys other than uh, maybe this war stats like it's 33 stars of course and then uh, eventually if you look at the uh, war events you can see a lot of us they just finished wanted to finish their attack we all finished their attack way 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 early and then eventually they just wanted to have a little fun went to three star the rest of the other bases so it's a really fun uh, clan to be in if you guys want to come and join you guys can come over i might be creating a creating a defenseless for the win three uh, four soon so uh, I'll update you guys again when the Defenseless for the Win 4 is up. I will uh, let you guys know in the next episode. So going ahead, now as you can see, we are against this clan called Awesome. So we are having, a, I think it's a 30 v, no, it's a 40, it's a 40 versus 40 clan war. So it's going to be a really awesome clan war, especially when now the first opponent is actually a Town Hall 9. So Town Hall 9, I'm not too sure whether Steve is able to handle him. Uh, hopefully Steve is able to 3-star him. If not, I will come into the picture and probably uh, handle it with a Gobi Wipe. The next one is a Town Hall 8. Town Hall 8, probably this one, we could use some uh, Balloomians to take the base out. So yeah, we are actually st strategizing it. I'm uh, discussing with Steve about it because uh, usually it's either me or Steve who takes out the top 4 bases. But yeah, I think I'm going to give Steve an opportunity to try out to take out the number 1 base. If not, I will try to take it out. So yeah, that's it for this uh, particular war update. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the series of this uh, defenseless uh, series so far. And with that said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching my video. And if you guys want to join my clan, don't forget that you can only have one level 1 cannon and nothing else. And await for the win 4. Thank you and clash on.